away from home, eat those coffee roasters. And um, I don't remember, I guess it had to be Farmer's Market, how we first got your name and what you did. And then someone, Valerie, um, you work for us and is missed, um, brought me coffee. And um, we went in Lakeland from not being able to get a decent cup of coffee to be overrun with first Starbucks and now uh, Dunkin' Donuts and then a wave of coffee roasters. It seemed like, um, kind of like bakeries. You know, you take a quick little three week seminar and you pop up a bakery or you pop up a coffee roaster. What really made you so different than what we've seen with everybody else? Um, well, I would say um, we start with a lot of intention and a lot of dreams. Um, you know, even though Ethos is just uh, four years old, mm -hmm. um, we had actually been in the works, I would say, even a decade later um, before that, or even probably even before um, all of that. And it all started with this desire to really make a difference in the lives of small coffee farmers. So there's a lot, you know, coffee is such a big business, is the most traded commodity in the world after mm -hmm. oil. And um, you see, you know, you see companies as big as Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts that are multi-billion dollar global companies with presence all around the world. And um, what you see is that, you know, all these people making millions. And if you were to visit the coffee farms, all you see is poverty. All you see so what is you're hunger. saying is this global um, growth in coffee, in particular coffee giants with even us southerners who drink sweet tea, not drinking so much coffee, it hasn't filtered down, to use a Republican term, trickled down to the farmer. Correct, yeah. It, it just, uh, it basically, it has made, um, it has actually increased coffee production, it has increased, um, there's more coffee being cultivated in the world. Uh, the problem is the price of that coffee is so, so low that many of the people that farm coffee are under subsistence conditions mm -hmm. and they don't have the ability to set their own prices uh, because coffee is traded as a commodity so somebody in New York decides, you know, okay, this is, this is kind of like what we're going to be trading coffee at and this is a price and farmers become price takers instead of, you know, price setters, right. um, which is totally different than the situation the we have reverse. here. Exactly. Yeah. Because uh, there's so much consolidation, so the fact that there's these like huge companies buying, you know, huge amounts of, of coffee in the market is actually something that's very harmful to, to all these uh, producers because, uh, you know, these are things that they don't even understand uh, many times. You know, you have to understand that a lot of them, they don't have a lot of schooling, they don't have a lot of education. Right. And a lot of times they start uh, farming coffee thinking this is a way that I can feed my family um, just to find out that it's it's really not right. yeah. So I want I want to focus back on 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 your beginning. So you grew up in Guatemala. You grew up understanding the plight of the farmer, and then you started subconsciously and then consciously developing a plan to help impact that in a positive way. So what is that plan? Uh, so you know I was always attracted to food just in general, uh, food processing, food production, um, a science. And so I went and had a career as a food scientist. I actually did a PhD in food chemistry wow. from um, Texas a and University. So I went to University of Florida and did Texas A&M. Um, and all my research was actually focused on phytochemical components in fruits and vegetables. Wow. So phytochemicals are, I'll give you like, kind of like the summary side. So sure. um, are, you know, all the components in uh, that give colors, um, many times they don't give flavors, but they are basically the non-nutritional components that you find in fruits and vegetables that are so good for you. Yeah. Uh, so they're amazing. Uh, we were doing uh, cancer cell models and wow. taking uh, phytochemical isolates from all those fruits and vegetables and testing them against it, um, you know, against growth, against proliferation, and you know, long story short, you should eat tons of fruits and vegetables because there's no way you can ever eat. Uh, too many of them. Um, yeah. They're really, really great for you. Um, so, you know, I really enjoyed all my time there, uh, but um, the, the laboratory was just a little bit too abstract for me. I wanted to do something more practical, something that had real impact that I could 
that I could see, that I could touch, that I could uh, potentially like impact me. people. Um, so, so yeah, so I went and I worked um, in the food industry. So I worked for uh, PepsiCo, Frito-Lay division, and later on I also worked for Mars Incorporated. So there, those are two of the largest food companies in the world, actually. Frito-Lay on, on the public side and, and Mars. And PepsiCo also owns young brands, right? They have all those. They used to, uh, but they split. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's two separate companies. But yeah, they, they, they're huge companies. It, it was a great experience in terms of you know all, all the things that you get to learn. So how did you end up but, doing this? But and what is this? It you know this is basically um, my what I'm trying to build. It's my ideal food company. You know, my ideal company in the sense that uh, we're just we're a lot more than a high quality product for a great price. Um, I actually want this to, to be a, a way that we make an impact in the world. And our impact is going to be through higher prices for the small farmers that we work for. Um, and when we talk about higher prices, I don't want to talk about a level that keeps them in that uh, poverty level. Uh, so, you know, you've probably heard a lot about fair trade and how, you know, fair trade has been around for at least 50 years now, if not more. And, uh, Basically, what that guarantees is, is a price premium of about 10 cents per pound to the farmer. Mm. So it is a start. I mean, it, it is better than, than nothing, uh, definitely. But I don't think that that's going to really seriously change things. So fair for trade them. isn't necessarily equitable trade. And what you're trying to do is take fair trade and make it equitable. Correct. Yeah, uh, yeah. We talk about you know life changing prices or future changing prices. Yeah. Like I wanna. Future is a good name. Yeah, I, I wanna you know give them a price that actually allows them to send their kids to school, that actually allows them to improve their schools, that allows them to you know for their kids to grow up and think of coffee in a very different way, in a way that actually allows them to just you know not just to support their families but also think about all the other people that they can help. Through the you know through that enterprise um, because coffee is still a very very important source of income for all these communities sure. and all you know um, there's entire towns that that live out of you know the process from the okay coffee. so let's bring um, we could probably go on for another twenty minutes discussing mm -hmm. that situation That's but let's talk about how you changed your business model or developed your business model to affect that equitable trade. Um, so, since the very, very beginning, uh, we started looking for small farmers. So, who the farmer is, is super important for us because there's all kinds of players in the industry. There's also uh, really big farms that you can source coffee from. So, um, there's very wealthy farmers that have lots and lots of land and they have hundreds of people working uh, for them and, you know, these people get treated really, really badly and, you know, they don't get paid anything and yeah. all these things. So it, it's, it's a very kind of like colonial era type of um, type of treatment yeah, plantation and, life. Yeah, plantation life. Um, so we definitely didn't want to source from those types of operations. We look for uh, small farmers. Many of them typically sell to an intermediary that in many countries is called a, a coyote. Yeah. Uh, so basically, those types of farmers are the ones that, that we seek out and that we want to work with uh, because they are the ones that we feel we can, where we can have the most impact. Um, so I'm going to interrupt just for a second because this is where uh, Elizabeth's story just kind of fell into what we, uh, when I own my wine company and, and how we buy wine now, operate. We not only feel that small craft growers give you a hands-on approach and, and, and a better flavor profile. It also helps change the culture where these grapes and beans are being grown. And by highlighting small vinerons, small uh, coffee producers, you're able to uh, start to see an effective change. Right. That is right. I would say, and that's, you know, that's not something that's unique to coffee. Uh, so, yeah. so you have a really great point. Um, I think there's also a lot of interest right now. Uh, people are kind of like waking up to the fact that their food uh, doesn't come from the supermarket. You yeah. know, the food actually comes from a farm somewhere, a processing facility somewhere, 
and I think there's a lot of interest and people want to connect to that source. So we, we're actually living in a very exciting time because I think our story and this mission can resonate in a way that maybe wouldn't have resonated 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So there's, uh, there's two things. Uh, I know we're trying to keep our videos somewhat brief, but I would say this story is exceedingly important, not just for our local community, but our global community. And I, if you come to the Red Door and you talk about community and life and community build, we often use the term creative industries. And so this is uh, an ideal global creative industry project that has ramifications not just in South America, but right here in Polk County. And as Lisbeth and her husband are able to grow this business, um, we want to be able to use that model for what we work with and how we do what we do. We try to, as much as possible, work with the smaller producers, the smaller vendors. Um, we try to go to the farmer's market and understand where our products come from. This is something that we all need to start thinking about. As we are coming out of our global situation, if we were looking at sustainable close to home opportunities and integrating those with small producers globally that allow us to move up, maybe we won't have communities that are continually generationally isolated. We will be able to look at economic and educational opportunities, not just in Guatemala or Puerto Rico or Colombia, but Polk County, Main City. No, I, and I would say, you know, I, I really do want to give a lot of credit to you guys. And, and, you know, we're always so, so grateful to find partners like you, uh, people who understand, not just see our mission, but actually want to support it and want to um, have, you know, give us the opportunity to, to, to serve our coffee to more people. Because, you know, we're at the farmer's market, you know, we have a website, like, we're at different places, but the more, I feel like the more places where we are, the more opportunities we can reach more people and hopefully, um, you know, a few of them are going to join us. And, I, I think we would be remiss, all this awesome understanding of where your roots are and what you're doing, but we'd be remiss not to say that uh, we love what you do, but we serve what you do because it's the best that we've found, the most consistent. And the quality speaks for itself. And we've used it in every application from, from espresso to drip to pour over, uh, French press. Um, and we're helpful, we're grateful that you're helping us develop our coffee program as well as keeping our feet on the ground and understanding that everybody counts, everybody matters. So yeah, we'll do so this again. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. <laughs>